I'm walking back here because there's a cemetery back here. I can't think of the name of the road it's off of. It's near Bertel Darby. I can't think of the name of the road. I don't want to stay back here too long because it says don't block the drive. But I'm not, but I still don't want to leave my car parked there too long. Okay. Eighteen fifty two. That can't be right. This is eighteen fifty two or sixty two to eighteen thirteen, but I don't think that's right. William Scott died in nineteen oh five, born in eighteen forty five. Some of these are so weather worn. Eighteen seventy six. Here's some in the early nineteen hundreds. Interesting how they got these little concrete beds, you want to call them. I really don't want to walk in them, <laughs> just out of respect. They 1911, it looks like. Nineteen fifty. Can you read that one? Nineteen eighty three. That's probably the most recent one I've seen so far. Nineteen eighty three. Most of them most recent is like nineteen fifty. Oh wow, here's one two thousand fifteen. And two thousand thirteen. So This is an old family right here. 19 or 1863 to 1911. 1927, 1905, 1910, 1898. All well, last names are the same, so that's definitely a family. Sixty-eight. 
So, I mean, a lot of the stones are in here from 1800, but it does look like they're still using it. I mean, some back there is 2015. That's really recent. And then back here, oh, we may see something down there. 1942, 1968, 1936. I see some fresh flowers down here. Well, not fresh, Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy two, nineteen fifty seven. Wow, she was only ten years old, sixty two to seventy two. That's so sad. One year old, 45 to 46. Terrible. Such a loss, that young age. A trail. Probably just goes down to the river. Wow. Both of these, born and died, same year, 56 to 56. 47 to 47 infants, two infants. About nine years apart. I would say that both of them maybe died at birth. Stillborn maybe. That's terrible. And so I can't think of the name of the road, but it's right near Big Darby Creek, which is right over there. Um, I'll put the name of the road and I'll try to put the GPS location in the description box. It's not too far from Darby Dan. Darby Dan is just right down the street. But you can see the road out there. Just try to find somewhere to park. And just walk back here. You're not going to see it from the street. Though you'll see the drive. And as I say, you see traffic down there. That's how, that's all the farther back it is. Nineteen fifty one. Okay, I'm not at the cemetery no more, but I'm just down here at Patel Darby, one of the picnic areas. But I wanted to do an update on that cemetery I was just at. As I was leaving, I ran into a guy that was coming in. And uh, I talked to him and I asked him what if he knew the name of the cemetery. Woolly Burger. Woolly Burger Cemetery. W O L L Y B U R G E R, something like that. Google it. But he is six foot six, like 250 pounds. Him and his friend, who's also like six foot six, were coming back one night and they heard something huge crashing through the woods coming towards them. He said both of them, at their six foot six size frame, it scared the piss out of them and they took off running. He said this thing. They don't know what it was, but it was huge. So I Googled this cemetery. He told me it was haunted. So I Googled the cemetery. There are several 
sites where people say that there is a Bigfoot-like creature in there that terrorizes those woods. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. But the guy told me, he says, if you want to check it out, come down here some night. He said, but you better bring a weapon with you. I don't know. It, I mean, it was freaking me out, his stories he was telling me about the place. He said he grew up around here. So, I don't know. I'm going to put a couple links down below, some things that I find on Google. But Google this cemetery and check it out for yourself. And I'm not saying it's true, and I'm not saying it's not. But if you want to check it out, I'll put the link or I'll put the uh, GPS location where it's at, the road is on, come down and check it out for yourself. That's the only way to find out. <laughs> but it really, I mean, the stories he was telling me were sort of freaking me out, but, you know, but he says it's haunted. And there is some, something big was coming at him. And like I said, when I Googled it, several people said there's a Bigfoot-like creature terrorizing the woods there but I just wanted to do this little update on it because I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to share it and put it on this video with the rest of the cemetery <laughs>